Oh, right, you tubers! Welcome back to War Thunder Ground Forces with the Angry Nerd. And today I thought we would take a look at the AEC Mark II armored car. Now, the AEC armored car is the name of a series of heavy armored cars used by the British and built by the Associated Equipment Company, AEC, during the Second World War. AEC of South All Middlesex was the manufacturer of truck and bus chassis, and its Matador artillery tractor was used for towing medium field and heavy anti-aircraft guns. In a private venture, AEC wanted to build an armored car with firepower and protection comparable to contemporary tanks of the time in an attempt to get an order from the Army. AEC started its design with the Matador artillery truck chassis due to the success of the 4x4 arrangement and its already powerful engine and transmission, which allowed the designers to mount some heavy armament. The idea of the chief designer was to create a wheeled tank which could be produced cheaper and in larger quantities than regular tanks. The vehicle was long and tall with a central narrow body. Compartmentalization was straightforward with the driver in the narrow front section of the hull and the fighting compartment behind. The crew compartment was roomier than that of the Valentine tank and it sported a turret ring large enough to fit a standard Valentine tank turret. The engine compartment was behind the fighting compartment toward the rear of the vehicle. Four large mud guards protected the massive wheels with very large storage boxes between. The whole superstructure was multifaceted in its design to provide basic ballistic protection from small arms fire and artillery spray. Armor protection spanned from 16 millimeters to 65 millimeters at the various facings. A typical operating crew was three men, the driver, the gunner, and commander. The vehicle was first shown to officials in 1941 during the Horse Guards Parade in London, where it made a favorable impression on Winston Churchill, so much so that 629 vehicles were produced from 1942 to 1943. The first version, the AEC Mark I, carried a Valentine Mark II turret with a two-pounder gun. Subsequent versions, the AEC Mark II received the six-pounder and the AEC Mark III a 75mm gun. The vehicle also carried two machine guns, smoke grenade dischargers, and a number 19 radio set. The Mark I was first used in combat in the North African campaign in late 1942, where a few vehicles were reportedly fitted with a Crusader turret mounting the six-pounder gun. The Mark II and Mark III took part in the fighting in Europe. An anti-aircraft version was built with a Crusader AA turret containing twin 20mm cannons, but it did not enter production due to Allied air supremacy in Northern Europe. The AEC remained in service with the British Army until 1958 and with the Lebanese Army until 1976. Now here in War Thunder Arcade, the AEC Mark II is a Rank II premium armored car slash light tank with a battle rating of 3.0. It has a 301 horsepower engine propelling the 12.1 ton vehicle to a top speed of 54 miles per hour. It comes equipped with the 57 millimeter OQF Mark V six pounder cannon. The recommended ammo load for this vehicle is not yet listed. Now I have it assigned to an expert crew with a crew level of 150, which gives me a reload of 4.2 seconds. With a premium account, it has an XP reward of 372% and a silver line reward of 150%. Some of you may be wondering how I even received the AEC Mark II because you may or may not have it already. Well, the AEC Mark II was one of four reward vehicles that you could receive for participating in 
and achieving certain tasks during the festive quest that ran from December 22, 2017 to January 22, 2018. So what do I think of the AEC Mark II here in War Thunder? Well, I actually think it's a pretty good vehicle, but I also think that's sort of map specific. Um, the six pounder gun is really good at about a rating of 3.0 and a 4.2 second reload is really fantastic. But the vehicle has no armor, so you really can't take too much of a hit. And that's why I say it's sort of map specific. If you get a map that has nice rolling hills and stuff that you can keep the hull of the vehicle uh, hidden behind and just put that six pounder gun to work, I think you'll have great fun with this vehicle. But if you get out in flat open areas where the enemy can get a shot at your hull, you only have a three man crew with no armor and they're going to take you out pretty easily. Now that being said, why don't we hop into a game and see what I was able to do with the AEC Mark II. Here we go. All right, looks like we picked up Japan. This might be a decent map for this vehicle. It's got uh, boulders, buildings, rolling hills. We're gonna take this northernmost spawn point. Uh, we're gonna boost up our ammo since we do have a pretty quick reload. We're going to head over toward the A cap. See what kind of speed we can get coming down this hill. And yeah, it's definitely not 54 miles per hour. But 30, 30 something, so might be a little better if we were on a hard surface road. But, uh, yeah, not bad. There are less maneuverable um, armored cars in the game. And there are more maneuverable ones. But we're going to come up on this hill and see if we can overwatch this A cap right quick. Now, I don't want to get down there in the cap. Those uh, buildings or whatever they are can be shot through and can be easily killed um, through those buildings. And it doesn't take much to kill this vehicle anyway. So you're gonna play in a total support role. We've got enemies moving on the center cap, so I'm going to see if I can come over here and I don't have a gun depression for this, I don't think, or do I? Oh, I do! Wow! Check that out! Bam, got one. Ah, I don't have the gun depression for that. But I could fire toward the other hill. Move over here a little bit. Toward the end of this little ridge and see if I can fire just around the corner. Ooh, what do we got here? Nope. Can't hit him. Let's drop some arty. Oh, wait. I saw an outline for a second. Nope. Got enough ammo that I can waste a little bit of it. 
so I don't mind trying to shoot through um, stuff. You never know, you might get a lucky kill that way. Reposition and see if I can get a better angle on some of these guys. Oh, what do we got here? Ah, got a hit on a three inch gun carrier. I don't think I can pin him through the front, so I just need to back off. This rock between me and him. I hit him that time. Nope. There he is. Hit him again. But I can only get one half of his vehicle. Oh, there's the three inch. Got him in the side that time. Try to get his engine. If I can stop him, but nope, I can get this guy. There we go. Now let's go back to the three inch. Still didn't get his engine. Back of the. There we go. Back of the crew compartment. What's this? Oh, that's the Italian tank. It was the Italian tank. Oh, shh. Woo! Now I got a shot at this other side of him. There he is. So what shot me from over here? Oh, right there. Right there. Up some Artie. Let's see. Dang! It's a Matilda. I don't know that. Ah. Uh, Got some damage on him, alright. And killed him. I was kind of worried. Let's see. Uh oh. Drop in behind a rock. Where there he is. There we go. I did lots of damage. I didn't get that guy that time. Got him. Got some Marty. Somebody heading down toward the A. Cap. Oh, somebody else down there. Oh. Those things can be hard to kill. Ah! Maybe he had some crew already down. This side. Let's see what we can see. Oh, what is that right there? I don't know. It's a Cromwell, but I really don't have a shot on it. Let's come around here and see. 
see if I can get an angle on it. Uh, somebody just smoked it up. Let's drop some arty and let him go. See what we got down here. I need to be careful of guys spawning in and being able to shoot me in the hole. Somebody's over here. All right. The Italian tank again. Got some good damage on him. Right. There we go. Oh, yes. All right. We got some people around the corner here. I don't know if I'm going to have time to get over here and engage them. You're running out of time. Nope, that's it. Not bad. Let's take a look at these stats and see what I did. Alright, awards, one shot, triple strike, shadow strike streak, tank rescuer, professional, double strike, survivor, heavy metal hero. That's not a bad haul. First place in the team, that's my XP and credits, that's my premium bonus. Destroyed 13 vehicles, 93% battle activity, there we are, first place in the team, not too bad. So the AEC Mark II, this is not a bad armored car. I would have to say that this can actually hold its own against the Puma. I don't think there's any other armored cars in the game that can say that. I'm not going to say it's as good, but it's, it's up there close if it is not as good. Anyway, if you've liked this look at the AEC Mark II, hit that like button. If you didn't, don't. Subscribe if you would. But as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Nerd out.